this is a short video response to Jman406. Specifically I wish to talk about his claim that a person can find the Christian God by asking it to reveal itself to him or her. By going in revelation, one must assume that a deity exists and will answer your call. This is fear, if the call is answered, however one problem remains. How does one know the call has been answered? There are no guidelines to verifying revelations, and trying to make one would only violate scripture, by becoming a test. The problem is that any event, that does not fit a skeptical person's burden of proof, could be written off as possible instances of confirmation bias. Since there are no guidelines to revelation slash miracles, there's no way to tell the difference between revelation and miscorrelation. One common counterclaim to this argument is that when the revelation happens, it will be self-evident. However, the only forms of revelation which would allow a logical person to conclude a deity outside of skepticism are those same events that could be conclusive for skeptical people. To date, I have yet to see a Christian account for this problem and ask God for proof. The proposed proof comes right back down to faith. Thus I continue my analysis of deities on a skeptical basis. It is the same basis that leads me to conclude that it is highly unlikely that deities exist and thus to agnostic atheism. I also wanted to say that your impression of the reasons behind the blasphemy challenge are not quite correct. Primarily the blasphemy challenge serves as a rallying point for atheists to come together and state their beliefs on the existence of gods. The secondary reason is to demonstrate that atheists will not be scared slash scared back into Christianity with hellfire. This is our position and we do not hold it on emotional grounds, thus emotional counter arguments will not work. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this movie.